Hey hello my friends and welcome back to Vintage Story 1.19.5 Mod It. It is 5.27 in the morning. And we have spent the night here in this village. We collected the glass from their windows, took some of their lights and things, and quite frankly don't feel bad about it because they were under attack from bandits. We slew all the bandits. We died a couple times in the process. Burned through a bunch of arrows. Um, at least three of the villagers have died in the process. And quite frankly, I've taken my reward. As soon as the sun's up a little bit higher, we are going to take ourselves overland to the northeast. See if we can uncover a few things. But before we do, I want to put my basket down. Let's get my basket out. Let's place the basket down. Let's open the basket up. And put that rope in there. All of that for one piece of rope, huh? And some breakfast. Because we're going to actually eat some turnips for breakfast. I don't know if you guys have ever had raw turnip or raw parsnip, but actually it's pretty tasty. There we go. Everything is settled. Pick that back up. Get it on our back. Get out our bow. Let's check our arrow supply. We've got... Uh, a total of 28 copper arrows. Some of them... Uh, so so basically, the archers from the Outlaw mod shoot their arrows, and some of them we can collect, and some of them we can't. I haven't quite discerned what the difference is between the two. Let's remove this death marker as well. Um, but it sure is nice. If you're willing to face a little peril... You can get yourself a nice pile of copper arrows, which I have done. All right, so we're going to head off this way, see what's up in this direction. And the light is up far enough. There doesn't seem to be any uh, nasties that have decided to join us this morning. And so other th well, other than that orc. Where'd you go, Ark? Oh, he's coming for me. Get my arrow is back. Yeah, these these people they're having a, a time of it, that's for sure. Well, I will happily take that gear. I think that brings us up to six gear. And um yeah, whether that's in his pocket or that's off his behind. Sorry, I'm not eating meat off a of dead orc. That's disgusting. Not that desperate. Though I will. Have a couple of fresh cranberries. I'm going to, even though we're already full, I'm going to eat them all just to not only have the room, but to top off my fruit. There's a burnet. What was that we just ran by? Nyasberry, huh? Can't say is that's one I know. Whoa, don't want to fall down there. It wouldn't have been a bad fall, but who knows what's lurking. I don't, I'm not so much about caving in Vintage Story the way I was and am in Minecraft. What do we got? So that's going up into Sandy Hills. Okay. You know, pal, 
you were looking pretty rough. I figured, I don't know what got a hold of him, but um, he was definitely showing the signs of wear and tear. Leave the rest of you for the wolves. But yeah, I love I love going caving in Minecraft. It's very rewarding. As long as you handle yourself correctly, it's not exceptionally dangerous. Salathorn. Been hoping we'd find some grain, but it has not been making itself evident. What are you? means there's probably a poacher somewhere close by. Give me back my arrow, please. Excuse me. Because of the grass? No? Hmm. Okay, that's kind of strange. They are an excellent source of hides. An excellent source of fat. And I am not... Killing the poor puppy dog. The poor puppy dog would happily have ripped my face off. So. We leave what's left over for the wolves. Alright. Running out of room. That's a quick, easy way to just open up two slots so I can get my basket off. Because that's where the hides are, and that's where the fat is, and that's where we've got our gears. Spears back. Want the spears and not the meat, please. One more chance to give me back my arrow. Oh, it's not stuck in the ground. So what happened is the arrow actually stuck in the grass. It read for some reason it read the grass is solid and it stuck in it. And, uh, oh, mugwort. Artemisia vulgaris. Oh, here we go. Got the whole crew, huh? Chucking their rocks at me. Usually I would take the time to fight them, but my health is already really low. And if 
I'm going to try to face him. i got to get someplace where I can get an advantage. And by that point, having run this far, I'm just going to keep running. What we got out there? What is that? Looks like some soft sedge. Yeah. Looks like there might be an animal out there. Flint, or are you minerals? You are flint. Flint and claystone. All right. Uh, this is andesite gravel. Not sure how far we get before our shovel gives up the ghost, but I'm going to try to get a stack. Alright, our shovel is still intact, and we've got a full stack of gravel that we can work our way through. Get some copper and things from it. Lots of quartz bits. Resin. This is where we'll be coming on a resin gathering expedition. We're not going to do it today. But coming on a resin gathering expedition so that uh, we'll eventually be able to make glue. I heard the sound of a bow being drawn. It is a very distinct sound. Even though I'd like to play with him and get some of his arrows. We're already at uh, 1300 hours. Oh, don't run through that. We're already at 1300 hours. And I'd like to get home before dark so we can reset our spawn. Don't make like you're gonna come up here, pal. I'll just remind you that you made the move on me. Sorry, little dog, but... Your Papa Dunn made the engagement. I just finished it. least got my arrow back. And 
I don't really have the room for it. Access, damn you. Alright. I at least got to hide. I'd like to get more, but it's just too much of a struggle against the river. Too much of a struggle against the river. Oh, and you ended up down in there, huh, little guy? Ah. <sighs> Ridiculous. Ah, looky there, my friends. Our willows have come up. Our bamboo has come up. These guys... About three days... Oh, that's right. We ended up um, finding that we had more bamboo than we thought. Yes, indeedly. Hopefully, we can get enough bamboo saplings from these guys to really propagate out some bamboo, but for now, I'm just happy to have it. And Clyde has gotten bigger. Okay, I named you Clyde and you're a girl, huh? I guess you should have been Claudette. Alright, well first things first. We've set our spawn point. 